wonderful Tuesday. Let's get into today's episode. Trina and them are talking about their kiss that they did with, uh, they, they said, we can keep this from Jocelyn. I told her something that that I'm so stressed out about my father and stuff, but that's no lie. I've been Jocelyn warned me about Ava. She reason, but she's been nothing but good to me. How is your mom to you and and Franco? Franco and then my mom is really good to me. My mom is gonna give me more boundaries, but I got to let her know where I'm at and everything. And then Jordan talked to Eternal Fair and said. She's doing anything she can to do to protect her son. She talked to an internal affairs, and she lied, but she has to, to get Cyrus out where she can get TJ back, and Trina doesn't believe that. There's nothing but lies that they said, but it is lies, and, uh, and Britt revealed to Julian that Lexus and Dr. Neal slept together in New York. She saw it. And then he went and then uh, she he showed that she showed the chip to uh, Dr. Neal about the uh, that she drunk again. She said you could have talked to me and everything. And Julian took uh, Dr. Neal and pinned him to the wall by his neck by holding his with his other arm. And then Laura said, uh, uh, "What's going on? We just got a we just got a text message about internal affairs." Jordan wouldn't lie about this. She, she, there's a reason. Um, Max said, "I've worked with Ty, uh, Ty, uh, Tiger for years. He would never do that. We have to trust Jordan on this." And then Olivia is disappointed in Lulu for what she done. She said, "I thought you was part of my family. I'm disappointed in you. I know you're acting out." And then, uh, Br- uh, then uh, Brooklyn said, I'll let you I'll deal, with, but I got to have your boyfriend. General Hospital, y'all be safe. Uh, I'm purged for you and your family. Be safe out here. 